Hi everyone, welcome back. So, in my last deep conditioning video where I shared my complete deep conditioning routine, I was asked a very, very good question. And I was like, I don't have anything addressing this, so let me create something. So the question was, how do you steam your hair if you don't have a steamer? And I'm talking no kind of steamer. I've never tried using a clothing steamer on my hair and that's not something I think I will ever do. But just because like that direct steam can really burn your body. Um, so I don't think that's something I'll ever do. So like what if you have no device that puts out steam? And I was like, well, there's this thing we used to do. Um, and I see people on YouTube kind of do it, but they don't do everything we used to do. Um, way back in the hairboard days to go ahead and um, to condition our hair. This was like people weren't using steamers. They were using heating caps, but they weren't using steamers. And so we had to come up with something. And so I'm going to apply my deep conditioner and show you how to steam without a steamer. So like I said, I just did a video showing my entire routine for deep conditioning. So there's no point in showing you that part again. If you want to see how I deep condition my hair, you want to know why, all that, then definitely go back and watch that video. But I am going to go ahead and apply my conditioner and everything, and I will come back and show you guys how I'm going to steam my hair without a steamer. Today, I've already pre pooed detangled my hair, and cleansed it, so I'm just going to apply my deep conditioner, and I don't necessarily need any moisture, any protein, anything. Um, so I just went by like, what I wanted to do. <laughs> my hair is like really hydrated. So I thought I'd give it a bit of strength. And so today I'm using the Camille Rose Naturals, not, I don't know how to say this, protein treatment, strength restore protein treatment. Um, this is from the Around the World collection. I do have a video on this. The active strengthener in here is quinoa protein. And quinoa protein is great for the hair. It's a more um, vegan, vegetarian friendly strengthener because keratin protein is um, usually from animals, of animal byproducts. And so quinoa protein is a great alternative. It's, this is hydrolyzed quinoa. So yeah, that's what I'm using this for. I think this is being discontinued. So, you know, you could try to find it. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm using today. And I'm also using a bit of the melanin hair care. Um, multi-use oil blend. I think this is the one that's open. Yeah. Um, I'm using the multi-use oil blend. So after I apply all this, we'll get to steaming. conditioner what I used up a conditioner love that and so I am ready to go ahead and steam my hair so what I've done is I've taken a hand towel a regular zegula hand towel I have also done this with a washcloth whatever kind of like cotton terry cloth you know this type of cloth and I've completely wet it with cold water and it doesn't have to be cold but because I'm gonna put it in the microwave which I did um, I prefer just to cold water and then I put it in the microwave for a minute and a half and it was hot um, and I, I let it cool while I put the conditioner on my hair but you don't want it to be too hot you don't want it to burn your scalp or your head <laughs> but you do want it to be warm so that you get a warm heat because that's what you get from a steamer right a, a mechanical steamer electric steamer so you do want it to be warm it does not have to be like blazing hot but you don't want it to be cold so somewhere in the middle there maybe room temperature you know that kind of thing um wring out the water so that it's not dripping down your neck 
and then it's ready to use. So my hair has the conditioner on it and I am going to put my hair at the top of my head again, just like I did for the steamer. And I'm doing this to make it easy to put on the towel, not necessarily um, for any other reason. And then I'm gonna put the towel around my head. Don't worry, this is not gonna get rid of your conditioner. And then you just want to clip it so it stays in place. Whatever, however you got to clip it. I'm going to take the clip from in here. This is hard to do without a mirror, guys. Because I don't want it to hurt. And it will hurt if I like, because the cloth is heavier if I leave the clip there. And I'm going to move this clip to the outside so that it stays, right? And then you put on a plastic cap. I don't have any plastic caps, but I do have a plastic bag here. And you don't have to use a plastic cap or bag if you have a shower cap, like whatever you have to keep this warm and wet on your head. You do want it to stay wet. I'm just going to ball it back here and tuck it under the towel. And that way I don't have to use another clip. Alright, so doing this will keep the towel warm and it'll keep it wet. And so with your body heat, we're getting steam, right? Almost getting steam. You still got to create one more layer to get the full effect. So I'm going to put this on top. If I didn't have this, I would use a towel but like this has elastic, so that's why I'm using it. It's not hot. I'm just using it as like a towel. <laughs> but you could put another hand towel on top. And now you've got like warmth, like real warmth coming from your body, coming from your head, but you also have wet warmth because there's a wet towel under there, right? So you're essentially getting the same effect from a steamer. Now it's not the exact same effect, right? It would still be easier and you're getting like a full treatment with an actual electric steamer. But if you don't have one, this definitely works. I did this for years on the hairboards. We used to call this the greenhouse effect, right? Um, and I've seen people on YouTube do it, but they leave off the wet towel underneath. I don't know why, but this is what I do. And I'm going to leave this like this for probably 15, 20 minutes. You don't have to leave it too long. Once the towel underneath starts to get cold, like once you don't feel the warmth anymore, then you're good, you know, however long that takes. And then all I'll do is rinse it out. This is just easy, like this cap here, but like I said, use another towel on top and secure it how you will, right, with a clip or whatever. But I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and I'll show you how supple my hair looks and like it'll draw up some because um, it, it has taken in um, what it needs to take in. It's coated in what it needs to be coated in. So 15, 20 minutes, I'll be back. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Um, and take all this down. <laughs> the good thing about this is that you can reuse this bag forever because it didn't really get any product on it, right? You just need to wash the towel. And that's pretty much it. I thought I had two. Yeah, here's the second one. And there we go. Yes, no, it really is like steamed in there. My hair, soak that up. It is so happy. It's so nice and wet. Look at that. That is good. Is it the exact same as using a steamer? Of course not. It, there's no way it could be. But I think it's just as good. I don't think you're, like I said, I do think the steamer is a luxury item. If you're looking for something to take your deep conditioning to the next level, if you like being extra, if you're into hair care, you, like it's a good way to go. But if you just want the effects of a steamer, I think this is a good way to go. Like my hair is so happy. And remember, I used a strengthening treatment, but it is so good it's you know it's hanging because it's so good 
and it, I'm getting similar effects. I like to use strengthening treatments when I use a steamer and this is giving me a similar effect. So that is my take on steaming without a steamer. Again, I would caution you from using a, a handheld steamer, like a, a clothing steamer, because you really can burn yourself. It is hot heat. It, it's not meant for that. Um, I have never tried the one, the Q Redo. I've never tried that. I don't know if I will. It's probably be something else that like has to be gifted to me, um, like my steamer was, in order for me to try that. But this concept, I mean, natural leases have been using for a very, very long time. It is tested. It is tried and true. So if you want to steam your hair without a steamer, try the greenhouse effect. And that's it for this video. It's simple. I'm not trying to make this complicated. And if you used to do this or you do this, definitely let us know in the comments box below if you've been around long enough to try it. Definitely let us know what it did for your hair. If you haven't tried it in a while, try it and then let us know. Otherwise, join us over on Facebook for the next challenge. This ends the month of February where we did a deep conditioning challenge. So join us over there for the next challenge. And until the next video, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and the blog. Thanks for watching, guys.